Hello guys, welcome to Cinemation. Today, we'll be reviewing The Lover, a 1992 French film. This movie will show how a Chinese businessman, 32 years old, falls for a 15-year-old girl. The controversial plot and numerous adult scenes in this movie led to it being banned in many countries. Beware of spoilers. The movie begins with a ferry leaving for its destination. Jane, the main character in the movie, is one of those on board the ferry. Jane is a French schoolgirl aged 15 from a remote Vietnamese village. Her mother is a school teacher in the village and she has two siblings. Pierre, her elder brother, is the bully in the house. He is the boss of the house and has his younger brother under control. Paul is the exact opposite of Pierre. He is easily intimidated by his peers and afraid of him. Jane is a student at a Saigon school hostel and came to Saigon to spend the holidays. Pierre is a problem and Jane isn't happy. He bullies Paul, which she doesn't like and she screams at him. Jane's mother sees Pierre's rude behavior and says nothing. Jane claims that she loves Pierre only and doesn't care much about Paul and her children. Jane knows her mother lies and says that she loves them all equally. Jane runs the village school, but her family is financially struggling. Pierre, the oldest male in the house, does nothing. Instead, Pierre steals money from his mother and uses it to buy opium. Jane was returning to Saigon today, as it was her last day on vacation. Her mother gives her a gift and says goodbye. She reaches the ferry and waits for it to depart. The ferry is then started by a vehicle belonging to a wealthy man. Jane is seen by the owner of his car. He is impressed by Jane's beauty and decides to take a closer look. Tony is a wealthy Chinese man. He comes forward and walks towards Jane. He offers Jane a cigarette. It is clear that he doesn't believe Jane is underage. Jane graciously declines Tony's first hook. Tony attempts to have a conversation with Jane, but Jane does not respond. Jane responds to his compliments on Jane's beauty. Tony then tells Jane that he will take Jane to Saigon in the car of his choice if she agrees. Jane accepts it. Tony takes her to the ferry. Jane is intrigued by Tony's wealth and notices his ring in the car. Tony questions Jane about her age. Jane, despite being only 15 years old, lies to Tony about her age. She tells Tony she's 17. Tony responds that he is 32. Jane informs Tony that Jane is a student at a Saigon school, but she lives in a hostel. Tony shares his family with Jane. His mother passed away 10 years ago. Since then, Tony has not left the house. His father manages the business from his bed. Tony claims that he doesn't get how his father could be so passionate about his mother. Tony attempts to touch her as he walks. Jane is able to stop him from gently touching her finger with his. Slowly, they hold hands. They finally arrive in Saigon, and Tony's driver allows them to go. Jane bids goodbye, and then she enters her hostel. The hostel, she tells her friend about Tony driving them to Saigon, but she won't share everything. Jane sees Tony's car on the way to school and realizes that Tony was there for her. Jane walks up to the car, kissing Tony through the window. Jane quickly entered the school. Jean leaves her school and begins to search for Tony, but she can't find him. One day, Tony appears at our hostel. Jane prepares herself and then leaves in his car. They look at one another, but they don't speak a word. Tony takes her to a house where he tells her that he was given this house by his father. Tony tells Jane that rich Chinese men use this house to have mistresses. Tony informs Jane that he wants to have a relationship with Jane, but that he is afraid of falling in love with her. Tony becomes nervous and suggests that they leave. Jane insists she is happy to be his mistress. Tony begins to have an affair with Jane. Despite not knowing her real age, Tony is then able to hear Jane's story about her desire to become a writer at night. She tells Tony about her desire to write about her family. She also told him that her family is in financial difficulties since her father's death. Tony questions Jane if she was there to help him. Jane replies that she went with him because she liked him. Tony takes Jane out to dinner at a posh restaurant. Jane appears very happy to be there. Tony pulls out his wallet to pay the bill. Jane is able to help him a glance by putting down a few bills. Tony smiles at Jane as he looks at Jane's face. Jane explains to Jane that her mother believes that once she loses her virginity, it is impossible for her find a husband. Tony replies that his father would not allow him to marry any other than Chinese women. Jane laughs at this and says that she likes Chinese men. Jane remembers Tony's words that night and weeps. That was the end of that day. Tony would always pick Jane up during her holiday, and she would take her to Tony's bachelor house. Their intimacy was increasing with each visit. Tony tells Jane one night that his father wanted him to marry the daughter of a wealthy Chinese businessman. Jane questions him about his knowledge of that woman. Tony says he doesn't know her. Jane seems to think that this isn't a problem. Tony and Jane both know they won't be together forever. They try to not take this seriously. They are only focused on their physical relationship. 
Jane goes on vacation and returns to her home in the car of Tony. Her mother questions Jane about the person who dropped her off at their house. Jane says it was a wealthy friend they don't even know. Jane's mother then shows Jane a letter from her hostel. It states that Jane spent many nights outside of the hostel. Jane says nothing. Pierre calls Jane names, encourages her mother to hit her and then leaves. She returns home at the end of her vacation. Jane takes her family with her to meet Tony. Tony is respectful towards them all, but they seem to be disinterested in him. Tony starts to tell them about him but they are all focused on their food. Jane is conscious of this but doesn't say or do anything about it because she doesn't want her family to learn about her feelings towards Tony. She wants her family think Tony was a wealthy friend, not someone she slept with or loved. Tony pulls out his wallet after the meal to pay the bill. Jane's mother is shocked at the amount Tony has. They leave the restaurant to go to another location. Pierre gets into a fight with Tony, but Tony maintains his composure and he sits down. Jane is not affected by their family's behavior towards Tony. Jane even begins to dance with Paul, and Tony almost shed a tear at his indifference. He realizes that Jane was the only one in Jane's family who met him because of his wealth. He believes that Jane was also involved with him because he was wealthy. Tony later that night takes Jane to his bachelor home. Jane is anxious because of how Tony treated her family. Tony approaches Jane and slaps him. He believes Jane slept with Tony not because she loved him but because he wanted his money. Tony begins to take off his clothes and Jane lives in peace. This night was different than all their previous ones. Jane acts like she doesn't like Tony and asks for money. Tony pulls out some money from his wallet and tosses it. He seems annoyed by everything. Jane accepts the money and gives it back to her mother. Jane's mother talks to the hostel warden, and she asks her permission to let Jane leave at any time she wishes. Jane's mother did it to make Tony more money. Jane thinks Tony is a wealthy friend. Jane is sleeping with her, but she doesn't know. Soon enough, however, all of the school learns about Jane and Tony. She is an outcast. Tony leaves for his father's house to discuss his marriage. Gene receives the ring from his mother before he leaves. He still felt for her, despite all the circumstances. Tony tells his father that he does not want to marry the girl his father had planned. Jane is his love. His father does not approve of this idea. He tells him that he must marry the girl he has arranged. Tony tells Jane everything. He tells Jane that he loves her, but also that he cannot stand against his father. His father is nothing without him. Tony is stuck in a bind. Tony doesn't know where to turn. Tony is told by Jane that Jane doesn't love Tony. He should marry the woman his father wants. Tony is sad to hear Jane's story. Jane takes Tony to the family property. Tony hears from her that her father died and her mother was deceived by land sellers. She was then sold flood land. This was how they got poor. Jane sits there, thinking about the pain that her mother may have experienced. Tony feels the same emotion, but they are separated. Tony asks Jane to explain that she only slept with Tony because of his money. Tony asks Jane to repeat the exact words he wants. Tony asks Jane to repeat these words to make it easier to forget about her. Jane attempts to approach him. Tony interrupts Jane and tells her that he regrets not being able to take Jane along with him. He said that he doesn't want to be with Jane anymore because Jane didn't love his. Jane drives to Tony's house next day in Tony's car so that her mother and her brothers can see the ring Tony gave her. They inquired why Tony had given her such a costly gift. Pierre claims that Jane was likely sleeping with Tony, and that's why Tony gave her that expensive ring. To avoid their suspicion, Jane throws the ring and claims that she doesn't care, but Pierre doesn't believe her at all. He starts to hit her with his fists and slaps her. Paul is able to hear everything, but he can't do anything. After seeing Pierre gets violent, his mother sends Pierre back to France to fight for her two other children. She is heartbroken to see him leave, as she loved him so much. Jane returns to Tony's bachelor home a few months later and finds him completely different. He was dead and he smoked all day. Jane questions him about when he got married. Tony responds that it was only days later. Jane was able to witness the union of Tony and Jane when it happened. Tony looks at Jane, but quickly turns his head. Jane is sad to see Tony and his wife go. Jane returns to her home. Her family is getting ready to leave Vietnam. Her mother says that Tony paid Pierre's debt in Vietnam and also paid for their return to France before she left for France. Jane returns to Tony's bachelor home and waits for him. She hopes Tony will finally come and see her. Tony does not show up after she waits hours. She leaves her house and doesn't get to see Tony again. Jane departs Vietnam. Tony's car is there as she sees it, just like the first time they met. 
Tony is invisibly visible, but she is aware that he watches her and she is following him. She lost her ability to see Tony's car as the ship began to drift away. Years go by. One day Jane gets a call from Tony. Tony calls Jane, telling her that although it has been many years since they separated, he still loves and will always be her. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel to receive more movie recaps. Comment below to let us know what you think about this movie.